Hello friends, you're the Lonesome Gamer and tonight I'm playing once again Eldritch Horror and uh, thanks to my friend and great supporter Jeremy or on YouTube Sith Knight 19 um, <clears throat> I'm able to show you the Forsaken Lore expansion and uh, it uh, focuses, or, or it, well, it uh, brings in lots of new cards. Basically, from every type of cards, you get more cards, and you get a new, great old one, and that is Yik. And we're gonna fight him and see if we stand a chance. Okay, so let's set up the game. Okay, so we're playing with Jim Culver, the musician. So, uh, he's got a special action here. Each investigator on your space recovers one sanity. And uh, investigators on your space roll one additional die when resolving tests during combat encounters. And he's got that shriveling spell. So that says, uh, if you pass, choose a monster on your space to lose two health. Then flip this card. Okay, and then we got here, uh, this is Charlie Kane. And it says, another investigator of your choice may immediately perform one additional action. When you perform an acquire assets action, you may allow other investigators to gain any cards you purchase. This is an absolutely amazing card actually. This is because this guy is extremely strong, so he can buy um he can buy these assets for all the other investigators. That's amazing. And finally we got here Jacqueline Fine, the Psychic. You may trade any number of clues with an investigator on any space. Once per round, when another investigator gains a non-common condition, you may look at the back of that card and gain one clue. Mm -hmm. A non-common condition. Okay. I gotta remember that. Okay. And that was one additional die. Only if they are with him on the same space. Okay. Yeah. So, um, we all start here in North America. I'm not absolutely sure if, I, if this is good or not, actually. Um, but think it could be fine. We have an open gate here in Istanbul, but uh, there's still enough time. The Omen track it can go uh, around one complete uh, circle until the, um, the Doom track would move on because of this gate. So of course they will probably show uh, there will be probably other gates showing up, but uh, this gate is not that dangerous for now. Here we have a wireless report, the protective amulet, the lucky ring, and the King James Bible. Okay, um, yeah. So we start with I don't know. We might actually start with Charlie Kane. So he gets the uh, the first player token and well he simply could try to He simply could try to um, 
acquire some assets. So he's got an influence of four and then a personal assistance. So he's got five and he can reroll one die when resolving these influence tests. So let's see. Okay, so these were two successes. And we can reroll one die. So maybe if we're lucky. Yeah, awesome. So that's cool. We can we can take the lucky ring. Uh-huh. Hmm. I'm thinking about taking a bank loan and in addition I could buy then the James the King James Bible. Hmm. Gotta think about that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take a bank loan when performing and acquire a set action. Uh, you may gain a debt condition to immediately add two successes to your result. Okay, so here is our debt condition now. And uh, local action test uh, influence if you pass discard that card. So this is exactly then the same, uh, the next action I'm going to do. I'm going to test the influence. And yeah, uh, well, I'm going to buy this King James Bible and the Lucky Ring because I have five successes. You may reroll one die when resolving a test. And this one is, you may reroll one die when resolving a, um, what is that, a will test during a combat encounter when you perform a rest action, recover one additional sanity. So... Let me see. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, I think he's a better fighter, although they're all not great in fighting, so. But he's got the shriveling at least. So, I think he takes the King James Bible and the Lucky Ring. Well, I can give that also to him, I guess. Yeah. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll my five dice. That's my second action, the local action here. Um, and if I pass, I can discard that card. Ah, great, I didn't. Oh, man. But I can reroll a die when doing an influence test because of my personal assistance, and again, I wasn't successful. That was bad luck. Well, okay. Okay, I'm actually, I'm trying uh, some other lightning. Um... And I wasn't too happy with that. I think it was a little too bright here. It was hard for me to read the cards. And uh, I think the board is now pretty fine. It's pretty bright. Um, but the cards are not that bright. And that makes it easier for me. Okay. Um, so that was now Charlie Kane. And yeah, that, that's bad. He wasn't able to get rid of this depth condition. Damn it. So, and then it's uh, Jacqueline Fine. And I think what she'll do is she's going to try to close that gate. Maybe both of them can try to do that. So she moves to Arkham. 
and uh, she also might gain a spell here if she's lucky. That would be good because she is pretty good in lore. So that was her first action, and then as a second action, she takes a travel ticket and uh, yeah, she takes a ship. And by the way, I forgot that. If you don't know the rules of Eldritch Horror, then please watch my first video that I've done about that. There I explain everything in detail. So these were her, uh, her two actions. And then it's Jim Culver. And, well, he will also move to Arkham, I guess. Um, oh. And now, I was a little bit too uh, too fast here. I actually forgot to 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 um, to draw the first mystery card. Uh, so this is basically the goal of the game. I'm sorry for that. So this is the rise of the serpent people. Now I remember that. And long thought dead, some serpent people are returning from centuries of dormancy. Although few in number, they are masters of combining science and magic. So when this card enters play, place a number of Eldritch tokens equal to half investigators each on a random space. What? Mm -hmm. So I guess these are two in this case. I think we got to round that up. As an encounter, an investigator in a space containing an Eldritch token may attempt to discover the meaning behind the strange events. So and then you got to take, uh, you got to do some observation test. Uh, well, Charlie Kane is actually pretty good, and but also Jacqueline Fine. They're both good in this. If he passes, he may spend two clues. To place that Eldritch token on this card. If he fails, a cultist monster ambushes him. At the end of the mythos phase, if there are Eldritch tokens on this card equal to half investigators, solve this mystery. Okay. Okay, so let's determine the random location now. And that is number eight. Okay, so that is, uh, that's here. It's basically the Bermuda Triangle. And we'll have two of these Eldritch Horror tokens there. So that's not bad, because... Um, yeah, so... What we could do is... Well, Jim Calver, he moved from here to there, and then we checked um, we checked this this um, this card, this mythos card, or this mystery card, because I forgot that at the beginning. And what we can do now is we can take a clue token from Jacqueline Fine. We can trade these clue tokens. So this is uh, my next action, and uh, then uh, on the other hand. He's pretty bad in in observing. So we also might give this clue token to Jacqueline Fine. Yeah, I think that's better. So she now has two clue tokens and that would then uh, give her the uh, opportunity to go there and try to resolve that mystery or at least the first part of it okay so that is then the end of the action phase and now we come to the encounter phase and we start in San Francisco okay here we go San Francisco a pulp author named Smith invites you to read his work. The stories disturb you. So we got to do a will test. We only have a will of two. Ooh. 
yeah, we were successful. Two successes, actually. If you pass, you gain insight into how the invisible world remains hidden. Improve observation if you fail. Okay, so we got another observation marker. So we are at four already. That's pretty good. Okay. And then it's uh, Jacqueline Fine and uh, she has an encounter in Arkham and because usually uh, it is said I think that you shuffle the cards, the encounter cards back in. So you don't draw from the top and you don't have a discard pile here but you shuffle them back in. So uh, to avoid this whole shuffling what I'm doing is I'm simply rolling which uh, encounter card I'm gonna draw and because there's 16 cards there uh, I'm rolling with this uh, eight-sided die and uh, combine that with a six-sided die. So in this case, it's card number six. Let's see, we got three, four, eh, five. So it's this card, and in this way we don't have to shuffle. It works better, of course, with two hands. So this is Arkham. The police ask you to examine a book they seized in a recent arrest. So she's got to do a law check and she might be able to do that. She's pretty good in law. She has a four. Okay. And yeah, she did that. Got a success here. If you pass, gain one incantation spell. Okay, so let's see, this is the first one here, Wither. So what is that? Let's see, when resolving a combat encounter, you may test lore. If you pass, gain plus three strength during that encounter. That's pretty good, because until now she didn't really have any uh, um, any fight spells, so that was definitely useful. And then finally it's Jim Culver. Okay, he's also an Arkham. A fortune teller in Independence Square warns you of dire events. You try to interpret her words. Okay, so we got three, and we could actually uh, use our lucky ring. Let's see. Uh, that wasn't a success, but we can re-roll one die. Uh -uh. Not this time. Okay, if you fail, you fear an inevitable doom. Gain a paranoia condition. Okay. Here we are. Okay. Okay, so but this is not a common condition. So that means when another investigator gains a non common condition, you may look at the back of that card and gain one clue. So this is a common condition, but that one is a madness, but it is a condition. So we can look at the back here, and it says kleptomania. Against rational thought, you compulsively take what does not belong to you and hide it away. Gain one random item asset from the deck. Then you must hide from the authorities. If your test result is less than the value of the asset you gained, discard that asset and gain a detained condition. Ah, 
that's not easy especially because I only have an observation of two and uh, in, can, in addition I forgot to uh, refill the reserve so that's something we got to do we have the fresh fruit and the arcane scola okay and she gains a clue token cool okay so um yeah that's the end of the encounter phase then and then we'll see what the um, what the mythos phase brings okay so this is a rumor first of all we got to place a clue tokens and uh, we, we spawn two clues so the first one and another one here we go okay the first one is okay this is number 19 that seems to be in uh, I don't know Kamchatka or somewhere so we place one here and that one is Sydney okay so it's definitely interesting to go to Australia because there are two clo to clue tokens now here that's good. Okay, and then uh, it says place four Eldritch Horror tokens on this card. The weather grows worse. Snow and ice cover cities that have never seen such weather before in their history. The Windwalker. When this card enters play, spawn the Windwalker epic monster on space four. When it is defeated, solve this rumor. When there are no Eldritch tokens on this card, each investigator becomes delayed and loses 6 health. Ooh. Then solve this rumor. If activated, discard one Eldritch token from this card. Well, that's a tough card. But luckily, uh, our conditions are not activated. So it's not that bad. Okay, uh, so we're talking on space four, so uh, we need to place a Aruma token, and it is here, somewhere in Canada, and we got to find this uh, Windwalker monster. Okay, so this is the Windwalker here, and got a horror of two. A damage of two. Before resolving the horror test, the will test lose one health and one sanity unless you spend one clue. Toughness is equal to to investigators plus two. So this guy has a toughness of five. So that's not going to be easy. But I mean, what we can do is. We can try to kill this guy together because Jim Culver, he's got that each investigator on your space recovers one, uh, one sanity, that's one thing, and uh, investigators on your space roll one additional die when resolving tests during combat encounters. So that's pretty cool. So it might be a good idea. Actually, I think... Well, I think that's that also applies to him. He's also an investigator on his space. Yeah, I think that also applies to him. So, if they go to there together, they might be able to kill that monster. And they can get there in the next in the next space. Uh, so, can they? No, they can't. They can't because ah uh, yeah okay hmm yeah because there is this 
punctuated line here that so you have to start basically here if you want to go here still I think that that might be worth it I think we should try that okay so let's see what we can do are there any well we got the protective amulet which is an interesting card from the reserve arcane scholar not bad okay but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna load this up first and then I think in the next turn um, maybe Charlie Kane is gonna try to get rid of this debt Jim Carver is going to try to get rid of his paranoia. Um, yeah. And then maybe uh, Charlie Kane he could try to buy, for example, the protective amulet. Maybe also the Arcane Scholar. Pretty awesome cards. And, well, they're not that great, but it's a start. And then he might actually think about moving here to, to Russia, maybe to get this um, clue token. That's, uh, that might be helpful uh, if we want to solve the mystery. And, uh, well, on the long, on the long term, we... We definitely have to have to kill that monster and then we still have to think about that gate here. That's something we should keep in mind. Well, let's see about that. It's it's not going to be easy, but we have to try it anyway. So, I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye. Okay, well, actually I decided to go on for one more turn. Um, I think there is still time left to do one more turn. So, yeah, I think Charlie Kane, he, he will stay, um, he will stay the first player and he's trying to go ahead to get rid of his, um, his debt. So he's got a test influence and he's got an influence of five with his personal assistant so it should be possible and this time he made it easily two successes so he can discard that card and then as a second action um, he tries again to acquire assets so um, yeah he so he's again allowed to roll five dice. Oh man, just one success. But he can re-roll one die. Okay, one success. Well, that's at least enough to take the protective amulet. So, uh, gain plus one will during combat encounters. So, uh, this guy already has the um, the King James Bible, so I think I think I'll give her the will, uh, the protective amulet. Okay, so these were his two actions, and then it's juggling fine once again, and. Okay, I guess what she does, is, well, first we got to fill the reserve again. So, uh, well, we got the arcane manuscripts here. Gain plus one law when resolving spell effects. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Huh. <sighs> Well, we might try that one. We could try to get that one. On the other hand, we could also try to... Maybe that's a better idea. 
to gain another another ticket I'm not sure I mean we have to go here and we have to end our move here if we want to go to to Canada in the next uh, turn so mm, yeah Okay, I guess I'm going to try to get the Arcane Manuscripts. Um, when resolving spell effects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's good. So, I move here. This is my first action. And then I'm going to roll two dice. I'm not that great in, in in buying stuff. So I'm going to roll two dice. But I only need one success. So let's see. Yeah. Okay, great. We got them. Awesome. That's definitely cool. Okay. So let's refill the reserve. And this is agency... Quarantine, current, current, what? Quarantine. I think that's how you spell it. So, uh, service. When you gain this card, immediately choose a space. Each monster on the chosen space loses four health. Then discard that card. That's a good one. I wonder if it is possible to attack these. Uh, these special monsters this way. I gotta check that up. Well, I think it should be possible. It says you cannot move these monsters, you cannot discard them, and you cannot return them to the cup. But... I think it could be possible to... to use it anyway. Still, I mean, we are really good, and... Uh, Maybe we can we we can take the time to kill that monster. I'm 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 not sure actually. This is now an interesting situation because I'm pretty sure that in the next turn Charlie Kane could be able um, to to get this card if he uses a bank loan. I mean he's got an influence of five can reroll one die so he only needs two successes and then the bank loan and then he can take that card and uh, well then this monster would have only one health would have only have one health point left so that that could be actually worth it so maybe we should really try to do that and well she could she could try to to finish that monster then and um, maybe Jim Culver can concentrate here on this gate in Istanbul I think that is a better idea I think I'm gonna try that Okay, um, yeah. Maybe I'm, I hope I'm not too optimistic here, but I think... Mm, I think I really can try that. Okay. Fine. So then it's uh, Jim Culver, and yeah. Well, first he's going to move to London, and then he's going to do a rest action to get rid of his paranoia. So on a five or six, that's a success, and yeah, he made it. Very good. Pretty cool. So all conditions are gone. 
So we start again now the encounter phase with Charlie Kane, still in San Francisco. So this is uh, number 11. You find the husk of a squid-like creature in a tunnel. Just seeing it, ter just seeing it terrifies you. Okay, he's got a will of two, which is not that great, but maybe he's lucky anyway. And he is. He's got a five here. Very good. If you pass, you identify the Chthonian. Improve one skill of your choice as scientists claim it to contribute it to its study. So that's cool. Um, So actually I'm tempted to improve my influence even more. I know it's pretty crazy, but then I can buy well basically everything, you know, that's that's pretty cool. So I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna improve my influence once again. And well then it's uh Jacqueline Fine, and she's here in a city, so she simply draws one of these uh, general location cards. The police ask for your help investigating a series of ritual killings. The grisly crime scenes threaten to overwhelm you with chills and nausea. So let's see. This protective amulet only works during combat encounters. So we have to face that horror without any help. So three dice. But we made it. Here we are. So we're rolling good, actually. If you pass, you manage to examine the scene and find significant information. Spawn one clue. Okay, let's see where this clue will appear. In Istanbul. Huh. Is that possible? I think it is. Uh, yeah, I think there can be a clue and a gate. I think it's not like Arkham Horror. So let's place that. Let's place that clue on this token here. I think that's pretty good. So and then it's uh, finally it's Jim Culver and he's in London. You meet an eccentric painter in Soho who offers to show you his work. Amid his bizarre alien landscapes you notice some familiar details. Okay so actually he's not that great in observing. He only has Two, but he might use his lucky ring. And he made it. Cool. If you pass, spawn one clue on a space of your choice. Okay. So let's see. Um, well, it could be an awesome idea to, to spawn a clue here, where the Windwalker is actually. Because um, she would then have actually four clues, and if she shall mo if she then moves here, we already have enough clues, I guess, to solve the first mystery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I guess that's where we place that clue, right there. Great! That's really cool. So, uh, it's not looking bad. Okay, we're done with the encounter phase. Let's come to the mythos phase now. Okay, 
So let's see. We got here. This moves on, but nothing happens here. Then this is actually triggered. So what does that mean? Well, first we have this guy here, Yig. And uh, we got uh, here, spawn one cultist monster on the active expedition space. Then if there are two or more monsters on that space, advance doom by one. So that is a problem, actually. We gotta keep that in mind. Someone has to go down here to an Actica and uh, someone has to fight these cultists. So what about him? What about Charlie Kane? Can he do that? Let's see. Uh, well, the cultists are not that bad, actually. They're weak, but uh, they're easy. Uh, I mean, they only have one health, but they do a lot of damage. And you can get poisoned. Oh, my God. So this is not going to be so easy here. So I, I have my doubts that Charlie Kane is the right person to do that. Okay. Okay, we have here these reckoning effects. And it's interesting to see that the monsters on the game board are actually activated first. So we don't have to activate the cultist. And does he have some something special, by the way? No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. There's nothing happening if he's activated. No. Should be fine. Okay, anyway. Ancient One Sheet, Mythos Cards in Play, Possessions and Conditions Held by Investigators. Okay. So... Uh, Mythos card and play well. There's this card here, and I forgot to place the, the Eldritch tokens there. So there are now three Eldritch tokens remaining here. Mm hmm. Okay. Great. Yeah. And uh, then there are no conditions, nothing. Nothing else that has to be activated. So then we have to spawn a gate. In Rome. So that might not be so bad because this guy is in London right away. So he can move to Rome and he might try to close that gate in the next turn. Let's see what kind of what kind of monster we find here? Let's hope it's not too bad. Well, this is the color of outer space, but that might be placed somewhere else. When this monster is spawned, move it to Tangaska. Yeah, okay. So, that's not too bad. Okay. This cultist bothers me. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So let's go on here. You wake up in mid-scream and your heart is racing. What little you can remember of your nightmare was so visceral and horrific that you dread falling back asleep, haunting nightmares. 
Each investigator loses two sanity and gains a madness condition unless he spends one clue. Well, that's pretty painful, but uh, I think I'm actually willing to accept that. Clue tokens are extremely valuable in this game. So, um, let's see how bad these madness conditions are. Okay, I decided to take these conditions. So, um, this guy has a hallucination. When I perform a rest action, you might roll a die. Okay. And he's got a test will. He's got a will of three, so there might be a chance for him. He's got paranoia. He also has to test will, which is not so easy with the will of two. And she has hallucinations too. So, uh, actually, when another investigator gains a non-common condition, you may look at the back of the card and gain one clue. So that is something she can do now. And, well, on the other hand, that... Okay, well, anyway. So, um, let me see. I'm not sure. How bad are these hallucinations? Huh. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's let's take a look here. Delusions. You see now that all of this supposed evidence you've seen you've been collecting is just nonsense. Discard all of your clues. Your head feels so clear now. All of the monsters and conspiracies you've been hunting were obviously figments of your imagination. Then discard this card. Okay, so basically this is not so bad. Uh, if, if, he, um, if he messes up this test, then he can discard any clues, but he does not have any problems here, so he simply can discard that card. So it's not a big deal. And she can actually trade clues with an investigator in any space as an action. So even if he takes a clue somewhere, um, she might take it from here. And then there is no danger from this card. That's pretty good. Okay. And she gains a clue token now, of course. So that's all pretty cool now, but the problem is, is this expedition in Antarctica here. Um, I'm really afraid that that might, that might cause us a lot of problems. Because, so now every time a new monster appears here, for example, a cultist. So basically, every time that um, we come to this activation counter here, activation um, symbol, which nearly happens in every turn, the doom track moves on. So that's definitely dangerous. The, the The problem is that Antarctica is not really next door. I mean, we are all in in North America. This guy is in London. He's even further away. So, the one closest is actually Charlie Kane, and he's not really good in fighting. So, don't know right now. I think we have to try it anyway. Maybe we manage to, to buy a weapon somewhere or something. That would be pretty cool. That At least we have a better chance then. And we then can try to go down to Antarctica and, uh, yeah, try to fight that cultist. Or then maybe even more cultists. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, I think uh, this is now really the end of the video. Basically, I guess we're doing good. As I said, big threat is this one here. But I think we can kill this Windwalker here. And then uh, might be able to to solve the first mystery pretty soon, actually. 
and he's close to both gates so he might be able to close these two gates which would be also great um, yeah as I said Mr. Kane he will probably be the one who's got to take care of these cultists down there okay so uh, hope to see you in my next video until then bye